All right, so here is a quick video to help you get started on your um, artist signature. So we're going to develop an artist signature that is unique to you, and we are going to um, use the design thinking process, which I actually have written right over here. So the design thinking process, there are four steps that artists go through as they um, create artwork. The first is they gain inspiration, then they do some investigation, then they create, and then they reflect and present. So we are going to go through each one of those steps as you are um, completing this assignment. So you need a piece of paper, any piece of paper, copy paper is fine. Um, if you have a sketchbook, you can do it in your sketchbook. It can even be a lined piece of paper. And then you're going to need an index card. So I have index cards and paper in the classroom for you, um, and you are welcome to use those. So the first thing you need to know is that um, we're going to first start with inspiration. Um, if you're in the classroom, um, I might give you a short um, presentation about artist signatures, um, but this is just the part on how to complete the assignment. So on your paper, go ahead and write your name. We're just writing our name. We're not really signing it. So Mrs. Woodjet. Um, and you should do this for all of your assignments that you do on paper and photograph, especially in your sketchbook. Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the name of the assignment on the top of the page, artist signature. Um, and this will just help you later uh, stay organized. All right, so number one, we are going to get inspiration. So go ahead and label a section, number one, inspiration. And what you're going to do is you are going to write your name at least 15 different ways. Um, on Canvas, there, there is a bunch of different ideas that you can use any or all of them to make 15 unique versions of your signature. So the first one I might do is just how I normally sign my name if I'm not in a complete rush, I always sign my middle initial. So you're going to decide, is this just your initials? Um, or is this like your first initial and last name? Is this your first name and your last initial? You do need to have at least your first or last name in there. The other thing, I can just print my name. So we're going to get away from just writing your name or signing your name and thinking about more of how we can draw your name. So the other thing it says is write your name upside down and backwards. Okay, well, I could try to do that or I could flip my paper upside down. So... Um, so you can go through any of those um, suggestions that are there, and you can um, experiment. One of them says draw your name with five different fonts or styles, and there's some examples. So when I'm looking at a font, um, I am kind of adopting that way of writing, even though it might not be how I normally write. I might be starting to experiment with line weight. So I'm doing this in pen. You can do it in pencil, you can do it in marker, whatever you're comfortable with. This is really, we're getting inspiration. Now my name is very long. I don't always love to write my last name um, or I don't always love to write my first name. Um, so you're going to, in this inspiration section, take as much space as you need to write your name 15 different ways. Um, then, number two, we are going to investigate. Um, so investigation is, we're going to kind of go deeper. So go ahead and label. 
this investigation section. Ta-da! Um, and what it says under investigation, choose one of the signatures above and alter it slightly three different ways. Change the line weight, the size of certain letters, etc. So I'm actually pretty interested in this one. So instead of like a curly, I'm going to do maybe, but the rest of it is pretty much staying the same. Remember, this is going to be a signature you use for every assignment that you are signing your name on your artwork. So you don't want it to be too complicated. Um, so one thing I'm going to do, I'm going to kind of come back and add these little kind of ends. So it really is a lot like this one right here, but I am altering it just a little bit. So then I am going to use the same basic style again and alter it slightly another way. So maybe I'm going to write it. Um. I wonder if maybe if I draw it more like cursive. All right, so you're going to do that three different times. Um, that is part of the investigation. And you are then going to do number four, for, or I'm sorry, number three. For number three, it is creation. So you will need an index card for this. Um, you will still need this. We're going to photograph it and turn it in. But number three is creation. So you are going to decide what your final signature is going to look like. Um, you might want to draw it first in pencil. So let's say it's going to be this one. Then go over it with a pen or marker. So this is like the best version, the one that you decided. Now it could be this one. Like after you experimented with three different ways, if you decided you still liked the first version, it could be that. Um, so this is like the polished finish version of your signature. Again, it shouldn't be so complicated that you can't write it, you know, pretty easily and quickly. Now, what I didn't talk about, it's in the directions on Canvas. You can add different, like, drawings, like, let's say, a little heart. Or for Elizabeth, maybe I wanted to make this a paintbrush because I am an art teacher or an artist. All right, so there is creation. That's the number three step. All right, the number four step is reflection and presentation. So what you're going to do is write a short sentence on the back of my index card about my signature and what it says about me. I'm gonna share it with three people in class and get feedback summarize the feedback you received. So I'm going to flip it over to the back. I am going to write number four. This is reflection and presentation. So my signature uses a, I don't know how I would describe this font. It is, um, I guess, a little bit structured and a little bit playful. A font that is a little bit structured and a 
little bit playful. Just like my personality as an art teacher. Um, if I didn't want to talk about the style that I used, I could talk about how I drew. So I drew a paintbrush to show my interest in art. Um, so that goes on the back. Um, when we are in class um, together again, um, or the next step, I guess, as a group, when everybody is to this point, we are going to go present it to each other. So you are going to share with three people in the class. You're going to say, hey, hi, my name's Elizabeth. Um, this is my signature, and I, I chose a font, so I'm going to use what's written on the back. I used a font that's kind of more straight and structured and curvy to show how that is um, like my personality. Um, and then the person that I talk to is going to give me feedback. They're going to say, yeah, I, you know, I see how um, you say that there's the straight lines and that's the more structured part and then the curvier part. Yeah, that really fits or that kind of communicates what you were saying. Or did you think about like the heart? The heart also shows that you're probably a pretty loving person. So they're going to give me feedback about my what they think is cool about it or interesting or unique or how it kind of matches with what my meaning is and then as an artist i have to come back and reflect so number four again so there's kind of two parts to number four presentation reflection um reflection um for this last step is I'm going to summarize what people told me. So um, two people told me that they thought the heart showed how I was kind. Um, let's say one person commented and said the paintbrush was a creative idea. Oops. All right, so that is how I complete all the steps for the assignment. I have the assignment title. I have my name. I have the inspiration, which there's going to be 15 versions here. I have investigation, which there's going to have three. I have creation, which is my final one. I have a little sentence about it. And then I have a reflection after meeting with three people in the class. So you need to take pictures of all of this. So probably one picture of this, one picture of this, one picture of that, and then you upload it into Canvas.